A trip to a local hospital turns into a nightmare for a young cancer survivor. The 11 year old shirt bursts into flames, and now Dornbecker Children's Hospital is trying to figure out what went wrong. It's 11 o'clock. Good evening. I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Kelly Day. Coin Local 6 reporter Cor Harlan is live up at OHSU tonight with a story new at 11. And Cor, how's that little girl doing tonight? Well, Kelly, she's in serious condition, undergoing more skin grafts this week at Emanuel Hospital from the burn center there. She is in serious condition after a strange incident here at Dornbecker. The fire marshal's office, by the way, now involved in determining just exactly how Ireland's T-shirt caught on fire while she was in a hospital bed here at Dornbecker earlier this month. She is, as you mentioned, a cancer survivor, first and foremost. She was in Dornbecker here for some unrelated incident, a bump on the head, really, that she had got at school. She had just cleaned uh, a table that slides in front of the bed there with hand sanitizer when her T-shirt caught on fire. Her father was sleeping in the room when the fire started. There was no lighter that was found in the room after she ran out of the uh, room in flames there. Only hand sanitizer. Now, Dr. Stacy Nicholson is a physician in chief at OHSU here. He says although hand sanitizers are flammable, there's no reason to think that hand sanitizers are a danger. No, this is a really unusual event. Nothing like that has ever happened either at Dornbecker or, or at OHSU hospitals. Um, in any hospital, this would be an incredibly rare event. That I don't want to speculate on what the cause would be. The fire marshal has done uh, the investigation. We're awaiting the fire marshal's investigation. And the sad thing about this poor little girl is a cancer survivor. She was in here for a bump on her head, and then she caught on fire. And uh, she's undergoing, as we mentioned, more treatment uh, at Emanuel here. Dornbecker awaits the results from the fire marshal. They say they will make changes to any procedures if it is determined that they need to. There was no oxygen on in the room at the time of the fire. Dr. Nicholson tonight, Jeff and Kelly, says in his 30 years of medicine, he has never seen anything like this. Reporting for you live tonight here at OHSU, Cor Harlan, Coin Local 6.